Zebra went into this game without a win in their previous ten matches in all competitions. Flanker Filippo Ferrarini and Dion Berryman on the wing returned after injury. When these sides met last month in Parma, the Italians were beaten 11-19. Ulster, with six wins from their last seven Pro 12 games, were boosted this week with the news that Rory Best had signed a new two-year contract with the province. Coach Mark Anscombe made nine changes, fully embracing a rotation policy. Paddy Wallace returned after a nine-month absence through injury for his 189th start. A near sellout crowd at Ravenhill made for an intimidating atmosphere, but despite that, it was the Italians who took an early lead. When Ulster were penalised for offside by referee Neil Hennessy. It gave Luciano Orquera the chance to make it 3 0. The windy conditions forcing Leonardo Sarto to keep the ball steady, and while the out half's kick was less than graceful, the ball just scraped over the bar and Zebre had a fourth minute lead. Orquera missed a further penalty in the ninth minute and then went off for treatment, with Tommaso Iannone taking over the kicking duties when the Ulster scrum was penalised in the 15th minute. The Italian international kicked accurately to make it 6-0 in favour of the visitors. Ulster, playing into the wind, were finding it hard to establish territorial dominance, but they got the breakthrough they were looking for in the 30th minute. Jared Payne played a starring role. Great work from the New Zealander for his second try of the season. From the Ulster line out, the Italian defensive line pushed too far forward. And when Payne slipped through the first tackle, he made for the line and scooted over unchallenged for the first try of the night. It gave Ruin Pinar the easiest of tasks from in front of the posts to give Ulster a slender 7-6 lead, which they maintained until the half-time break. After half-time, and with a strong wind at their backs, Ulster extended their lead to 10-6 in the 48th minute. The Zebre were penalised for not rolling away in the tackle after another dominant Ulster line-out. And it left another straightforward penalty for Pienaar. The South African wasn't going to miss from there. And Ulster had a four-point lead. The weather conditions made good rugby difficult to play, but Ulster continued to spend the majority of the game in the Italians' half and got their reward eight minutes from time when substitute Emiliano Caffini was penalised for going in off his feet. No, 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 no. Straight off your feet, 20. Pinar supplied the kick once more, and this time it made it 13 points to six. Neither line was severely threatened after that. And at the end, with the 80 minutes up, Orquera chose to kick the ball out and settle for a losing bonus rather than risk conceding further points. A low-key end to a rather low-key encounter. Ulster have now won all four matches they played against Zebre, but like the game between these sides in November, this was a hard-earned win for Mark Anscombe's side. Final score at a wet and windy Ravenhill, Ulster 13, Zebre 6.